Today, we're like a $400 billion market cap. This does not belong to us. And why we succeed? Because we support the young people, we support the small, medium-sized companies. We support the women. And because of supporting these people, they do succeed. So we believe, how can we last our success? We believe we should support the more young people. We should support the more SMEs. We should support the more women. If they are successful, we will be successful. That was, because I believe one thing, when you have a cup of two or three million dollars, that money you belong, belong to you. When you have 20 million dollars, you have a problems about money depreciation, you buy this stock or that stock. When you have more than $100 million, $1 billion, that money does not belong to you. It's the social responsibility. If people trust you, ask you to manage the money better. So, so that was the thinking. And then we decided, we say, we should make an economy that is big enough to, with that economy, we can enable every young people, every small business, every woman, globally. They want a global buy, global sell, global deliver, global pay, and global travel with the technology we're giving. We can create 100 million jobs for the world. Today, we create 33 million jobs for China. So you, you must have a unique and different way. Um, a lot of people today have a lot of complaints say, I don't have opportunity. I complained a lot when I was young, and suddenly realized complaint does not solve any problem. We're the opportunity always in the place where people complain. There are so many, if there are so many opportunities in the world, in this world, because there are so many complaints. <laughs> if you can solve the complaint, one of the complaints, that's the opportunity. So this is what we, we made. I think young people, if my advice to be an entrepreneur, don't be scared of failure or setbacks, and don't give up. There, people, there are a lot of books written about Alibaba, about me, which I'm scared of. One day I was reading on a, on a, on a plane, that's many years ago, in the newspaper, I was reading a, a, a guy introducing a guy, very great. And finally, I think people are talking about me. No, that's not me. <laughs> it, was, it was an article about a, a great person. And then finally, I find out they are talking about me. I'm not that great. That's not me. Right? I want to say is that if there's a book I want to write, it's Alibaba 1001 Mistakes. We came today. Now, we made so many mistakes. People say, you are lucky. Yes, we are very lucky. We've been only 19 years to, to today's size. But we've gone through so many tough situations. We made so many mistakes that people cannot Im imagine. Probably 90 years, just like Israel. For 70 years, your country grew from nothing to today. You have gone through so many tough experiences. And that will make you different. The only thing we did was that we are very united. We all believe the future. We are all optimistic. And we learn through mistakes. We never give up. When Alibaba first IPO'd in 2007 in Hong Kong, uh, we had um, like uh, close to 500 millionaires. We made 500 millionaires. And I had a talk with uh, people in the room. I say, hey, everybody, now we are very successful. We are all millionaires. Do you think we are smarter than the others? People say, no. Do you think we work harder than the others? No. The early days, when we have, because we had a strange name, Alibaba, people say, uh, what, a, what a company. A lot of people think it's a company of telling lies. <laughs> we cannot even hide people. We say, if the people who, who is not that much disabled, we all hide them. Because <laughs> nobody wants to join us. And, but we've gone through it. So I asked those 500 millionaires, there's one thing. Those people who think they're smart, after half a year, they're all gone. They start to build up their own. They don't believe our model. They don't believe by helping others, by helping small business, you can make money. Because that 20 years ago, only by helping big companies, you can make money. By helping small companies, you don't have a chance. So smart people left us. Those people believe they are excellent, 
the headhunting company all come, they headhunt our people. We are the people, nobody even come to hand us. <laughs> so we stayed, we have no choice, we don't have any company to go, but we believe our future. So after 10 years, we survived, and today the same. We don't believe those people, I think this is what I give advice to students in Harvard or Tsinghua. If you graduate from famous university, please respect the people who graduate from the poor schools. Those people like us graduate from a poor universities, please respect yourself. We have chance if we work together. So, of course, we would love to have uh, great students from Tel Aviv, from Tsinghua, or Harvard. But the most important is that you find the people with the fighting spirit, learning spirit. And this is what we hire people for, not because of which school you're from. Even to now, we said we would rather not having students from Beida and Tsinghua because we believe Beida and Tsinghua University should go to the small, medium-sized companies, not us. Because we are helping small, medium-sized companies. If we take all the talents away, because we have, today we have a lot of cash, we can give high pay to get the best students from university. If the society is poor, no matter how strong you are, your company will be poor. So this is what we believe. They should go to, they should go to SMEs, empower SMEs, and then we help together. That's what we believe. I think we should teach our kids how to be more innovative how to be more creative, and how to be more constructive. Human side is more important than the, the knowledge. I think the past 200 years, human being made a huge progress because of the knowledge-driven based education. I think next century, we should focus more on wisdom based, or the human based. So this is, I think, next 30 years, please pay special attention to the education system reform that our kids will never get dis disappointed because of the machine take a lot of jobs. There are a lot of jobs waiting for human beings. And next thing is I want to say is that pay attention to these uh, companies who have less than 30 employees. Please pay special attention to the young people who are below 30 years old because this is the generation who were born internet. They will change the world. So, education is the key. Well, the first two, three years for Alibaba was, uh, was a disaster. We did not have a business model. People in China did not believe internet. People did not believe e-commerce. What we did, the 18 people together, like, a, like a 40, 50 people. We only have a vision. We don't know how to do it. And then we got an excellent person. He worked more than 30 years in GE. He gave me said, Jack, it's about the system. It's about the people, value, mission, and people training. That's the best. And then year 2002, and three, four, I spent a lot of time training our people with the value, mission, and professionalism. And then we got more managers, more leaders than most of the other startups that we started to do better. It's not about business model. Later, it's about create values for the others. And that, that is very good advice for me. And we made Alibaba different, even to today. We are still so much mission driven, value driven. And I believe we want to last 102 years. We were born 1999. Last century, we had one year. We want to go through 100 years this century, plus one year, 102 cross three centuries. So in order to survive, we have to be mission-driven, value-driven, and people-driven. Today, we do e-commerce. Tomorrow, may not. The day of tomorrow, we don't know what we do. But if we're mission, value driven, if we believe young people, if we want to support the other people to be more successful, there is always business model. There is always money to make. 
That's what we believe. <laughs> there, is no, there are a lot of experts of yesterday. There's no expert of future. The thing we do is we learn. So that's why you said what kind of job we need, what kind of candidates we're looking for. We're looking for every kinds of jobs. But the thing is that we hire you not because you are qualified. We hire you because you will be qualified if you learn together with us. So this is what Alibaba requests. We hire people. They're ready to learn. They're ready to take risks. They're ready to fail. And they're ready to suffer. And we believe maybe 15, 20 years later, they will be the expert of their own field of the history. That's what we think. If Jack Ma and his team can be successful, 70 or 80 percent of young people in China can be successful. We're not smart. We don't have money. We don't have technology. We don't have anything. The only thing is that we work together for future. So we said if we succeed, 80 percent of young people in the world, they can be successful. That was who we are. So people say, Jack, this is the, that your imagination. That is not me. So when I look at people say, hey, Jack Ma, people criticize him. I'm happy. People criticize That's not me. <laughs> people praise him as, you know, that's not me. I know very well this is not me. The second C Jack Ma is the CEO, chairman of Alibaba. That's a tough job because all the easy, good things my team finished. A tough job. The things that came to me, normally not easy. You have to be, you know, you have to be a CEO like. This is not me, it's my job. It's me, it's my personal. I'm a straight boy, like any boys, in a poor family. My, my, I'm a very, I came from a very poor family. Poor education. I love to make friends. I love to have fun. So I want to be back to myself. This is what I, I do anything, a lot of things that any boy want to do, I want to do. And I want to enjoy a lot of life. But this is why I want to retire early, I can go back to myself. Because this is not me, this is my job. And the real Jack is something that I always want to come out. And um, yeah, every year I want to, see, I want to do something new.